What's up gamers and welcome back to yet another video. So before we get into today's video, I want to point out that I'm currently hosting a giveaway on my channel where I'm giving away a gift card for either the PlayStation Store or Steam Store, depending on your choice of console. So make sure to check out that video as there's still time for you to participate in the giveaway. Anyways, as you can see, yesterday I hit Plat 5 once more, so I thought it'd be cool to have a look at the duel that got me back to Plat for the second season in a row. There wasn't really much to the duel, I had a really good starting hand and I feel like my opponent didn't have the greatest starting hand, but let's just have a look at how it went and you can decide that for yourself. So today I'm fighting another Sky Striker deck user and I am going second for this duel. And with the current setup on my hands here, I decided that I want to go for my Utopic Drake of Future. First, my opponent summons his Sky Striker spell card, and that's all he does for the first turn. So for me, it's really easy to counter at this point. I just use Cosmic Cyclone, pay 100 of my 1,000 of my life life points to destroy his uh, spell card, and then I activate Fire Formation Tanky, get my hands on Zodiac Ram Ram, and I summon the Thoroughblade and try to use his effect to discard the Ram Ram. But unfortunately. I get negated by my opponent's Ash Blossom, so there's that. Instead, I decide to go for my Sky Thunder, as those are literally my only options at this point. So I summon my Zodiac Borbo, and then I attach Whiptail to the Borbo for the extra 1200 attack damage, and that's a 2900 poke right away in the second turn. And what I like about this setup with using the Whiptail like I just did is that I don't have to go into my Zodiac Dryden to make sure that I have 6 Sys materials that will get transferred over to Sky Thunder once I summon him. I like to have as many Sys materials on him as possible so I can use his quick effect as many times as possible. And with Whiptail he kind of serves as a placeholder so I don't have to go into my Dryden in case I want to try to summon a Utopic Drake of Future later in the game. But I get my Sky Thunder on the board here and I end my turn. So what he does now is he uses his Sky Striker maneuver to destroy my Sky Thunder. I try to negate it with activating his quick effect to remove all cards from the field. I know it doesn't do anything so I was just trying to scare him a bit. You know some psychological warfare that can get you a long way now and then but he destroys my sky thunder uses pot of desire and now he goes into summoning a bunch of spell cards so i have lightning storm on my hand so i'm not too worried about the different spell cards that he has on the field now as i control no monsters i can activate this and then destroy all spell or trap cards that he has on his field So I use Lightning Storm to destroy all the spell and trap cards. He tries to activate the effect of his Sky Striker Air Space, but I just drew a Skullmeister, which can then negate that set effect. And now I decide to go for my Utopic Drake of Future, as my Sky Thunder is dead. I'm kinda limited, I don't really have any other options instead of going into my Drill Driver, but I want to have the Utopic Drake of Future on board, as he cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So I go into Dryden, activate her, her effect to detach Ram Ram and then resurrect Ram Ram. Then I go into my Zodiac Dryden. Sorry, I went into my Charconine first and then I go into the Dryden to destroy the Ram Ram that I resurrected. Now I have two Sys materials here that can serve as a summon for my Utopic Future. And this guy, he's just a tribute for my Utopic Draco Future. And then I enter my battle phase, hit him with the 3k attack. Always nice to, land, nice to land that one, and at this point my opponent just decides to surrender the duel. So as I said, this was a pretty quick duel, there wasn't really much to it. I was lucky to draw some pretty good cards and keep my opponent in checkmate for most of the game. I feel like he uh, wasn't as lucky with his card draws, but that's just the way of the game, right? Anyways, that is all for today's video. But before I leave, I want to let you guys know that I'm currently working on a Zodiac Tri-Brigade deck. Right now I'm playing with the pure Zodiac deck, but in plat games, I feel like it lacks some firepower in terms of an engine, which will obviously be the Tri-Brigade that I'm going for here. As you can tell, I am only I only need to craft the Ancient Warrior's Oath and the Apollosa. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Bow of the Goddess to have the entire deck that I set out to craft. So when that happens, I will have to try out a few duels that will probably be a hot mess as I have to learn the playstyle and different combos of the deck. 
but when I feel like I'm starting to get a hand on that, I will start production on another deck guide, like my Prusudic deck guide. And I can tell from reading some of the comments on my videos that you guys are kind of interested in the Sudiac Tri Brigade deck. Uh, so just hang on for a little while longer, and hopefully I will have a guide ready that can help you guys out with this. Anyways, that is all for today's video. Thank you once again for tuning in and watching, and until next time.